So this is Calflow. Uh, welcome to the to the home menu. Uh, let's uh, go into a little bit of vectors right now. So we're gonna go ahead and see this vector addition and cross product. Uh, let's go into that world. Cool. So over here we have a plot, and it looks like we have a, a few vectors. All right, this seems to be cross product. Let's go ahead and start with vector addition. Uh, so we see we have an x-axis going from negative 10 to 10, a y-axis from negative 10 to 10, and a z-axis from negative 10 to 10. Uh, so let's draw a couple vectors. Okay, so we have uh, vector number one. Let's go ahead and put that at, uh, let's go 3, 3, 3. Okay, so vector number one is now sitting at the location 3, 3, 3. Uh, let's get vector number two over here, and let's put that as something simple. How about... 1, 1, 1. So we have vector 1, 1, 1 plus vector 3, 3, 3 equaling vector 4, 4, 4. Let's do something a bit more complex. Why don't we uh, make it a negative vector? So we make it negative 1, 1, 1. Negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. So we see that that now makes our added vector uh, 2, 2, 2. But if we take our, our first vector over here and we plot it at some other value, let's say something large, 10, 10, 10, and we take this vector and we put it over here at a negative five, seven, and six, we can see that our new vector is now five, 17, and 16. And that's because 10 minus five is five, 10 plus seven is 17, and 10 plus six is 16. So simple, uh, this vector plus this vector equals this vector. All right, uh, let's go into cross product. Uh, so cross product uh, has some similar concepts, uh, but it's a little bit different. Uh, we're taking one vector over here and one vector over here, and we're uh, performing a cross product on them uh, to get this third vector that we see over here. Um, so our, our first vector is at 4, negative 2, and 3, and our second vector is at 2, 1, 1. And we see that the uh, result of the cross product is then negative five, two, and eight. Uh, so if we look at these vectors, the cross product is gonna be normal, that is at a 90 degree angle uh, to both of these vectors. And that's gonna be true no matter where we place these vectors. It's always gonna be normal to both the vectors.